What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we got to talk about Rhea Ripley being written off of TV. Now, apparently, NXT's parking lot has claimed another soul in Rhea Ripley. Last night, NXT was going on, and I actually watched the clip. Some of y'all had sent it to me on Instagram and Twitter, so I appreciate that. But uh, apparently, there was some chaos going on in the NXT parking lot. And the cameramans are following the referees to see what's going on. And you see Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan are just walking a, a walking away from the the essential murder scene. Um, smiling. They both had they look like they have uh lead pipes, both of them. They're walking away. You're trying to figure out why they walking away with lead pipes, what's going on, and the camera zooms in or it, it follows the referees and officials to rear ripley a bloody mess she's leaking all over the nxt parking lot right in front of her i guess car rental or whatnot and apparently raquel and Liv packed her up with some lead pipes bro had her leaking and now wwe is a uh, released an official statement on their twitter on the uh status of rhea ripley so we're gonna check this out on twitter right now man once again if you're anywhere near the nxt parking lot stay away because apparently no one's safe from getting packed up over there so this is the tweet that they put out a uh, developing story Following last night's brutal attack at the hands of Liv Morgan and uh, Raquel Rodriguez uh, in the NXT parking lot, of course, Rhea Ripley has suffered a fractured right orbital socket and will be out of action for an in, uh, undisclosed amount of time. So they got a the X-ray. Don't know how accurate uh, this X-ray or this uh, this um, some somewhat some sort of medical scan is. But I like the fact that they're they're really hamming up this idea that Rhea <laughs> legitimately got attacked and um, she's going to be out of action for a while. So I can appreciate them posting this. And I looked up the I guess the timetable um for an actual uh orbital fracture like if you fracture your orbital socket and this is what i found what uh what can i expect from the, the recovery process recovery time can vary depending on the severity of the fracture but most patients can expect a full recovery within a few weeks to a few months so if they're going off a real orbital fracture it could potentially be a few weeks up to a few months and I, I i tweeted so if they actually go uh, by real orbital fracture it could be a few weeks or uh a few weeks or sometime early next year so that would mean like around survivor series or the royal rumble when she returns and i think that may be the timetable um they could do survivor series and have you know a situation where she comes back maybe with a mask of some sort to protect her face uh to get some type of revenge on Liv and Raquel um I'm not sure if that's the route to go uh I know someone had even commented on here maybe doing like a uh a war games with team Liv versus team um team uh um Rhea Ripley but to be honest with you, Rhea's still not, she shouldn't be liked by many people. So who would want to team up with her? She's been terrorizing the roster for the past two years. So who would actually want to be on her side is the real question. I don't know if they're going to do that, but it does seem as if they're going to uh, extend this feud and kind of give it a little bit of a breather and see what Liv and Raquel end up doing. But ultimately, it could be Survivor Series and, you know, they may lean towards the Royal Rumble. If they're going to do something like this to extend this feud with an injury angle, then the only thing I can think of is it would maybe be the Royal Rumble. But even then, would you want Rhea to win the Royal Rumble again to essentially challenge uh, Liv at WrestleMania? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I've seen some people comment that they're, they're kind of over the feud and wanted to, you know, kind of move past this. So I don't know. But at the same time, I think if things are going the way they're going right now, most likely, and I, I was one of those people that didn't think, you know, she should be holding the title to WrestleMania. Most likely she's going to hold the title to WrestleMania because the only person that's beating Liv 
is Rhea. There's nobody else beating her. I think the story that they've been telling, it's going to be Rhea that most likely ends up beating Liv. So if you're going to do that, I don't think it's going to happen at War Games. I don't I don't see that happening at War Games or, or Survivor Series. Um, so maybe her winning the Royal Rumble again. I don't know. I know I've seen a few people not big fans of this whole feud and kind of wanted to, to die and move on to something else. And I think we're getting some steps of that. But the question is, while Rhea's out, who does she feud with? Who does she build some type of program with? If they're going to do something like this, maybe, and just maybe, they probably could go the route of Raquel maybe feeling some type of way. Maybe she's wanting her opportunity at the championship. They could do something like that. They could. I mean, it makes sense if Raquel ultimately at one point gets that desire to be the women's champion and she knows Liv. That could possibly happen too. I don't know if anyone would be interested in that, but that's an option that they could do. Um, I don't know. I mean, I feel like anybody else right now, yeah, it would be good to freshen up Liv's, you know, potential feuds going forward until Rhea comes back. But we know whenever Rhea comes back, Liv is dropping that title to her. So the question becomes when. I don't think it's going to be at Survivor Series I think maybe they lean towards the Royal Roman. That's a long time. You still have the rest of uh, November, December, and then January. That's some time. So I don't know. I don't know. It's it's kind of a, a confusing one. I get it, what they're doing here to extend the feud. But I think they may be trying to stretch it as far as they possibly can to get back to WrestleMania season. And even then... That is a very, very long time. Even if Rhea does win the Royal Rumble, I mean, the WrestleMania is not until fucking April. And it's not even early April uh, next year. It's going to be like like late April. So we're going to have to wait even more months for that match to happen. I don't I don't know if they can extend it that long, bro. I, I don't know if they can. So this is why it's like, it's this is a tough one this is a tough one so comment down below let me know how do y'all feel about them extending this feud between Liv and uh and Rhea and when do y'all think would be the proper time to end this feud does it happen at war games does he finally get served revenge at war games does it happen at um next year's royal rumble like do they have a match there or do they we wait all the way to wrestlemania to have this match y'all let me know how y'all feel about it um or anytime before wrestlemania le next year y'all let me know where y'all think this feud shit in but i appreciate all love support road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking in with me see y'all next one peace